In this video, I'm going to teach you a super simple hack to help you identify blemishes and other texture based imperfections in your model skin so you can easily remove them and create super clean, super smooth skin using Photoshop. Let's go. What's up guys, Justin Lawrence here. Now, when it comes to portrait photography, a proper skin retouching regime is an absolutely essential part of creating high quality and impactful portrait images and typically incorporates at least two of the following three important steps, addressing blemishes and textural imperfections, tonal and color inconsistencies, as well as a third option that addresses skin polishing. Now, when it comes to step number one, removing texture imperfections and blemishes in the skin, quite often it can be quite difficult to see where the problematic areas are and what needs to be removed. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you a super easy little Photoshop hack to help you identify these problematic areas and to quickly and easily remove these types of blemishes. So without further ado, let's dive into Photoshop and begin. So here we are in Photoshop and as you can see, we have our image in frame, which we will be using to demonstrate today's lesson. So let's go ahead and turn off all the final stage edits, including the skin retouching that was applied to this photo. So right now we're at square one. The skin is untouched. And before we get into identifying and correcting the problematic blemishes in the skin, such as the little strands of hair, the small bumps and pimples and rough texture transitions, first things first, you're gonna want to set up your retouching method of choice. Now, my personal preference when it comes to creating flawless texture is to use frequency separation. Now, for those of you watching who wish to skip my setup and introduction to frequency separation, feel free to jump ahead to the following timestamp on screen. So let's get started here with the frequency separation setup and begin by hitting Alt Shift Command N and then Alt Shift Command E to create a stamp of all visible underlying layers. Now hit Command J to duplicate this layer and with these two layers, we're going to use frequency separation to separate the skin's texture and details independent from the skin's colors and tones. Now, all that's left to do to complete the setup of this method is to click on this layer right here, the colors and tones, go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now make sure the value is set to 20 and finally click this layer right here the textures and details, go up to image, apply image, select the colors and tones layer, set the blending mode to subtract, make sure these values are in place, then set the layers blending mode to linear light and you are ready to go. So now that you've set up your retouching method, it's time to put the amazing power of Photoshop to good use by making it super easy to identify where we want to focus our attention when it comes to blemish correction. And to do that, all you need to do is go down to the new adjustment layer right over here, click on black and white, and you should see this black and white properties pop up appear on screen. Now have a look at these different color sliders over here. Each of these represent the different colored pixels that exist within your image. By moving these sliders left or right, you will either brighten or darken the pixels of each represented color. And since the dominant color in our skin is red, all you need to do is simply go ahead and click and drag the red slider to the left to darken and thus clearly reveal all the existing texture imperfections in your model's skin. Now have a look at that, isn't that amazing? This temporary filter will now make it so much easier to identify the troublesome areas in your model's skin. So now with this filter in place, we can go ahead and move forward with our frequency separation and quickly get to some easy blemish removal. To do that, all you need to do is click back into your details and texture layer, then click on the clone stamp tool, hold Alt, and then click on a clean area of skin and then hover over a nearby blemish and replace it by clicking it with the clean area of skin. Repeat this for all small bumps, 
pimples, makeup residue, and just about anything that detracts from a smooth appearance. I would encourage you to turn on and off the black and white temporary filter to make sure you aren't removing anything that you're not supposed to. In addition to blemish replacement, you can also smooth rough texture transitions, like so, as well as remove rogue strands of hair for a much cleaner overall aesthetic. So that about covers step one of my typical skin retouching process, but only really scratches the surface of my entire skin retouching regime. If you're curious to learn more about my complete skin retouching process from A to Z, plus my full portrait editing workflow from A to Z, including color grading tones, etc., etc., check out the link in the YouTube description down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and I look forward to seeing you next week for the next video. Take care for now, guys. Thank you.